Do you like my sword sword? And let's add a custom item model to Minecraft. Alright, we find ourselves back in the church once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom item model to Minecraft. Now, this is an item model that we have made during the block bench tutorials. I will link those in the top right corner. And this is the item model that we have made so far. So it's pretty much just like a normal sword over here, just a little bit something. But it is definitely a custom item model. And that was what the important thing was. Now, from this block bench, we have already exported the JSON file. Like I said, this was all done in the block bench tutorial that is going to be linked in the top right corner as well as in the description below. Now what we're going to need is just that JSON file as an item model file. So I'm going to copy this over. This will of course also be available to you. However, we will need to change some things. Namely, you can see we have those tux we have those textures that point to block bench over here. Here this needs to be of course tutorial mod colon item slash and then whatever the texture name is. And then also very important that all of the texture names don't contain any spaces, but all of them have to be replaced with underscores. That is very important. Otherwise, this will not work. So let's make sure that all of them have underscores. And then we can also select this and then replace the block bench over here with tutorial mod called an item. And that should be fine. Let's also copy over the textures over here. Those are four textures, top sword, hilt, guard and bottom sword. And that should be that. So those are also added. Let's then go to the en underscore use JSON file to add the translation. There we go, see the translation added as well. So we're going sort of backwards, right? We're doing the JSON files first, and then we'll also add the custom item here. So let's just copy over the eight ball. That's going to be the best one, probably. So this is going to be the Kalpen sword. And then right here, we're going to call this the Kalpen sword as well. Now we could just make this a normal item. I'm going to make this a sword item. You don't have to necessarily do that, of course. It's going to be tears.diamond, so it's going to pretty much be the same as diamond. This is the damage. The integer here is the damage. We're just going to make this 10. And then this is the attack speed. We're going to make this 5. So it's going to be a pretty good weapon, all things considered. And that is pretty much all that we need to do. So once again, this doesn't necessarily have to be a sword item. I'm just choosing to make this a sword item because that is the general item shape that I've made. But that is actually all that we need to do to add a custom item model to Minecraft. So let's go into the game and see if it works. All right, finds us back in Minecraft. And there we go. The Count Sword has been added. And if I have it in my hand, you can see it definitely is a custom item model. Now, it doesn't look absolutely amazing. I will agree with this. But regardless of that, it is a custom item model. And that is pretty much how easy it can be to add that to Minecraft. Right, and that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. And I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Oh, so, yeah.